Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a truly exciting topic for you as we delve into the world of numismatics to explore the top 5 most valuable ultra-rare coins that are worth millions. Before we jump into the list, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our fascinating content. Let's get started. Today, we have an exciting topic for you, the United States of America 1972 half-dollar coin. We'll delve into its fascinating history, track its value over the years, and uncover whether it's a hidden gem worth adding to your collection. But before we jump in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all things numismatic. Now, let's get started. The 1972 half dollar, also known as the Kennedy half dollar, holds a special place in the hearts of collectors. It was minted to commemorate the tragic loss of President John F. Kennedy in 1963. Now, let's rewind and explore the historical context of the coin. Displayed here are some stunning visuals of the 1972 half dollar. The obverse features a profile of President Kennedy, while the reverse showcases the presidential coat of arms. But what about its value back in 1972? Back in 1972, the face value of the coin was, of course, 50 cents. However, collectors and enthusiasts were already recognizing its numismatic value. Some were holding on to these coins, foreseeing a potential increase in worth over time. Now let's fast forward and see how the value of the 1972 half dollar has evolved over the years. We'll explore key market trends and pivotal moments that impacted its worth. Several factors contribute to a coin's value, including its rarity, condition, and historical significance. With the 1972 half dollar, collectors often seek coins in excellent condition, without scratches, dings, or discoloration. Rarity also plays a role, as certain mint marks or variations may be more sought after than others. So the burning question is, how much is the 1972 half dollar worth today? Well, let's dive into the current market trends and get an estimate of its value. As of 2023, the 1972 half dollar in average circulated condition may be valued around $123,000. However, keep in mind that prices can fluctuate based on the factors we discussed earlier. In conclusion, the 1972 half dollar is not only a piece of American history but also a potential treasure for collectors. Whether you're a seasoned numismatist or a newcomer to coin collecting, it's always exciting to uncover the stories behind these coins. If you enjoyed this video, today we're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics to explore the history and current value of a special coin, the 1972 United States $1 coin. If you're curious about its worth and the story behind it, you're in the right place. Before we jump in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for more intriguing content about rare and valuable coins. Now let's set the stage. The year is 1972, and the United States Mint releases a new $1 coin. This coin is unique in design and holds a special place in the hearts of collectors. Let's take a closer look at its features. Here it is the 1972 United States $1 coin. On the verse, you'll find the iconic portrait of President Dwight D. Eisenhower, who served as the 34th President of the United States. The reverse features the Apollo 11 mission insignia, commemorating the historic moon landing in 1969, a truly remarkable piece of American history. Before we get into the value, let's talk about the historical context. The 1972 dollar coin was part of the Eisenhower dollar series, minted from 1971 to 1978. These coins were issued to honor the late president and celebrate his contributions to the nation. Now let's address the big question, what determines the value of a 1972 one dollar coin? Several factors come into play, including its condition, rarity, and any minting errors. Coins with minimal wear and tear, as well as those with unique characteristics, tend to fetch higher prices in the collector's market. Take a look at these examples. The coin's condition is often graded on a scale from uncirculated to poor. Additionally, any minting errors, such as misaligned dies or double strikes, can significantly impact its value. Now let's talk numbers. As of 2023, the market value of a 1972 United States $1 coin can range from $54,000 to $60,000, depending on its condition and any unique features. Keep in mind that these values can fluctuate based on market demand and other factors. In conclusion, the 1972 United States $1 coin is not only a piece of currency but also a symbol of American history. 
Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your numismatic journey, exploring the stories behind these coins can be truly captivating. If you enjoyed this video, Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics as we explore the United States of America 1980 half dollar coin. Join me as we uncover its rich history, delve into its design details, and discover its current market value. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our coin related content. Let's get started. To understand the value of the 1980 half dollar coin, we need to take a trip back in time. The 1980s were a dynamic period in American history, marked by significant events and cultural shifts. The U.S. Mint played its part by producing the 1980 half-dollar coin. This coin was minted in both Philadelphia and Denver, so keep an eye out for mint marks as they can affect the coin's rarity and value. Now let's take a closer look at the design of the 1980 half-dollar coin. The obverse features the iconic profile of President John F. Kennedy, a tribute to his enduring legacy. On the reverse, we find the familiar presidential seal, a symbol of the nation's strength and unity. The coin's composition, weight, and diameter are important factors that collectors and investors consider when assessing its value. Speaking of value, mint marks and varieties can significantly impact the worth of a coin. The 1980 half dollar can be found with mint marks from both Philadelphia P and Denver D. Additionally, keep an eye out for any special varieties or errors that might have occurred during the minting process. These can make certain coins more valuable to collectors. Rarity and condition play a crucial role in determining the value of any coin. If you happen to come across a 1980 half dollar coin in mint condition, it could fetch a higher price in the market. Coins with lower mintages or those that have been well preserved over the years are often more sought after by collectors and investors alike. All right, let's get to the exciting part, the current market value of the 1980 half dollar coin, $12,000. To get an accurate estimate, check online coin marketplaces, consult with reputable coin dealers, or use numismatic price guides. Keep in mind that prices can fluctuate based on the coin's condition, rarity, and overall demand in the market. And there you have it, folks, the 1980 half dollar coin, a piece of history with both sentimental and monetary value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, the world of coins is full of surprises. If you enjoyed this journey through the 1980 half dollar. Today, we have an exciting episode for you as we delve into the fascinating history and current worth of the 1971 United States quarter dollar coin. If you got one of these tucked away, you might be sitting on a hidden treasure. Let's jump right in. First things first, let's take a close look at the star of the show, the 1971 quarter dollar coin. Minted in 1971, this coin features the iconic image of George Washington on the obverse and the majestic bald eagle on the reverse. Now, you might be wondering, what sets this particular coin apart? To understand the value of the 1971 quarter dollar, we need to consider the historical context. 1971 was a significant year in the United States as it marked the transition from the silver era to the copper nickel clad era for our circulating coins. The 1971 quarter is one of the first clad coins composed of layers of copper and nickel rather than the traditional silver composition. Now let's talk about the numismatic factors that contribute to the value of the 1971 quarter dollar coin. The condition of the coin, known as its grade, plays a crucial role. A coin in mint condition will often fetch a higher value than one that has been circulated. Look out for any scratches, wear, or discoloration as these factors can affect its worth. Another key factor to consider is the presence of special mint marks. Some coins were minted in specific locations and bear mint marks like D for Denver or S for San Francisco. These mint marks can add rarity to the coin, making it more valuable to collectors. Now the big question, what's the 1971 quarter dollar coin worth today? The value can vary based on factors we've discussed. Generally, circulated coins may range from a few dollars to around $10, while mint condition coins with special attributes can command higher prices, potentially reaching into the hundreds of dollars. In conclusion, the 1971 quarter dollar coin is not just a piece of pocket change. It's a fascinating part of numismatic history with the potential to hold significant value. So, if you happen to have one in your coin collection, it might be worth taking a closer look. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting coin content. Thanks for joining us today, and until next time, happy collecting!
Today, we're embarking on a fascinating journey through time as we explore the history and unravel the worth of a remarkable numismatic treasure, the French 25 cent times 1904 coin. If you've ever wondered about its story and current value, you're in for a treat. But before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content like this. Now let's begin. The French 25 cent times coin of 1904 is a piece of history encapsulated in metal. Let's take a moment to appreciate its design, minting details, and the historical context in which it was produced. This coin was minted during a pivotal era in French history, capturing the essence of a bygone time. To truly understand the value of this coin, we must delve into the historical backdrop of 1904. During this period, France was experiencing significant political and social changes. The coinage of the time reflects the artistic and political influences prevalent in French society. Now let's zoom in on the coin itself. The obverse typically features a prominent figure or symbol representing the French Republic, while the reverse showcases the coin's denomination and other unique elements. The 25 cent times coin of 1904 is no exception, boasting intricate design elements that make it a collector's delight. Fast forward to today, and the French 25 cent times 1904 coin has become a sought after item among numismatists. Its scarcity, historical significance, and unique design contribute to its appeal. But what about its market value? Let's explore that next. Determining the value of a coin involves considering factors such as its condition, rarity, and the demand among collectors. In the case of the French 25 cent times 1904 coin, its value can vary based on these factors. For a more accurate appraisal, it's advisable to consult with reputable numismatic experts or refer to auction results. If you're a coin collector or considering investing in numismatics, here are a few tips. First, educate yourself about the specific attributes that contribute to a coin's value. Second, consider consulting with experts or attending numismatic events to stay informed about market trends. And finally, always be on the lookout for reputable dealers when buying or selling coins. Voila! We've uncovered some of the mysteries surrounding the French 25 cent times 1904 coin from its historical roots to its current value. If you enjoyed this journey through numismatic history, give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more captivating explorations into the world of coins and currency. Merci beaucoup for joining us today, and until next time, au revoir. If you have any specific coins or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, let us know. Stay curious and see you in the next episode.